hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to another sketch with me video i have really been enjoying making these lately because filming my process is pretty easy to do and then i just get to ramble to you guys after if you are new here hi i'm courtney i am a young artist and a small youtuber here i tend to make videos mostly about art travel where i live things like that. So today I am just doing some facial practice. I'm trying to develop a more refined style because I definitely have a style if you look at a lot of my pieces, but I do tend to normally work in a realistic style, so I don't have like a strongly defined cartoon style and for what i plan to do with my life in the future i do want to have a fairly established style early on because working in character development and things like that a company is going to want to see that you have an established style and usually an established style that fits with their current art direction if you have no idea what i'm talking about I am going to art school this fall, which I am very excited about, but at the same time, I obviously am a little bit nervous, a little bit. I have decided that I probably want to major in studio art, but currently I'm deciding if I should add on a minor in digital studies or a double major in digital studies. I'm going to Davidson College, so I do know that classes are going to be a little bit tougher than if I had chosen a less rigorous school. But at the same time, I really do feel like it's going to be an environment where I can flourish, especially the art program. It's like the ideal situation in which it's a very well-funded program, pretty prestigious program, but at the same time, they don't have a lot of majors, so I will get a lot of individual attention. Now, even though I'm not in college yet, I am already planning for what I want to do when I get out of college, which is a little bit scary because I only have four years until I am officially a real adult and then have to figure that all out. I make videos a lot of the time about how you should pursue a creative career and you should do art. And while I totally believe in all of those things, there is not one of those things that I don't believe in. Sometimes, you know, the societal pressure does get to me and I sit here and I do think like, wow, maybe all these people are right. And then at the end of the day, I look at all of the art careers that you can get. I look at all of the people making money from doing something you love. And it really just reminds me that whatever you believe in your heart, like that is going to be your reality. I am fully of that belief. If you think like, oh, I'm a bad student in school, that's gonna lead you to not put in a lot of effort. That's gonna lead you to not study whenever tests are coming up and ultimately, what are you going to be? You're going to be a bad student. So for me, for the rest of my life, I'm telling myself, hey, there's not an option. You are going to be successful. You are going to have a wonderful art career. And that's just not an option, like to fail, which I think is why I'm trying to like, in a way, pad my resume very early on because I know that the longer I have to develop a consistent style that maybe like a game design company would like, then I will be a lot more prepared for that environment. The longer I have to develop my anatomy skills, I will be prepared for that. Even now, I'm kind of dipping my toes into the design field, which I think is really interesting. I've never been particularly drawn to design. Um, personally, I've always kind of enjoyed making visual art more so than designing things that will be like used by people or interfaces, things like that. But I am getting into it recently and I do think that graphic design is like one of the largest art industries. Also one of the most accessible art industries because not every person can be selling in a blue chip gallery, obviously, but there are a lot of graphic design spots and there's a lot of schools where you can get a graphic design degree. And even though I'm not getting a degree in graphic design, I think that incorporating that into who I am will be 
very interesting very beneficial like it never hurts to learn a new skill have you guys picked up any new hobbies or like skills over the summer you know obviously i'm working on my art skills but that's like a hobby that i've enjoyed for a really long time personally recently i've been very into hiking i did post a video um i think like two weeks ago whenever this one comes out about connecting to nature and why we should appreciate it why you should go outside more if you haven't seen it it is a good watch i will be totally honest but i have really enjoyed hiking getting out into nature it's just i think recently whenever i see the outdoors i'm just kind of like wow i could lay inside scrolling on instagram or I could be outside. I can have my feet in the grass. I can be running around. I could be fishing. And like, that is a very interesting turn of events for me because when I was in middle school, I was somebody who stayed inside all the time. I didn't necessarily hate the outdoors, but if I didn't have to go out there, I wasn't going to, let me just say that. In addition to hiking, I've also rediscovered my love for biking. I really enjoyed doing that when I was very young, like elementary school young. And around the time that I stopped growing is around the time that I stopped biking. So thankfully, my bike from literally so many years ago is still the size for me to be able to ride it. So I just like on July 4th, a few days ago, randomly found it in the garage, was like, you know what? Let's take this baby for a spin. And I realized that I am not the greatest biker. I was barely even going uphill. I think it was maybe like a two foot incline at most. And I was literally just like dying. And I'm not even like an unfit person. I go to the gym almost every day. That's another new hobby. I only started going to the gym about a month ago, but I really do want to get better at biking it is such a practical skill and especially because i'm going to be living in a more city region in college as opposed to living in a small town that i do right now i will have access to biking some places instead of taking the car everywhere i still am taking my car to college though which i don't think is a common decision for a lot of people most of the people that i know my friends that i've talked to have said that they don't plan to take their car to college personally me i feel like i need to because one so that i can drive home because my college is three hours away and i feel like that's in the weird window where it's like not close enough that your parents can drive to pick you up when you want to see them but still not far enough that it's like impossible to go home on the weekends you know so definitely want to be able to drive home sometimes and then also because i'm close to charlotte charlotte is going to be like a 30 minute drive 20 20 to 30 minute drive from my college i will just be able to drive there whenever i want if i want to get an off-campus job if i want to go to an art museum anything that i want to do in charlotte i will have access to that with my car i really do wish that the economy was a little bit less car centric. Um, obviously we know all of the things about how cars affect the environment, but even just aside from that, like it feels so good to walk places sometimes. Um, whenever I go to Raleigh, which is, you know, um, decently walkable city, very close to me, I really enjoy just being able to walk around. Like if I am finishing up at the museum or an event or something, you can find food literally a five minute walk down the road. And that's just incredible to me as someone who lives in a small town because the closest Walmart is 20 minutes away. Like walking is fun. And if you live in an area which is not too hot to go outside in the summer, I would totally recommend having some little hot girl walks. It doesn't matter if you're a boy, a girl, it doesn't matter what you are. Everyone can have a hot girl walk. Personally, I just put on a podcast. I have really been loving this podcast by Alicia Gogan. Can't remember the name, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, it really has changed my perspective on a lot of things. I'm kind of on a healing journey right now. Like going through the motions is not a thing anymore. I'm putting in effort. I'm making the life that I want to live. And I think that you guys should too. 
that was one of the things that inspired me to start this YouTube channel. I put it off for a really long time because I was thinking like, okay, are people going to make fun of me? Is it going to be too much to post videos every week? Am I going to annoy people? And then eventually I was like, stop caring what other people think. This is your life. If you're going to spend your entire life thinking about what blah 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 thinks or thinking, oh, are they going to put this in their group chat on Instagram? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just live. Literally, just live. And the great thing is, a lot of these haters that you have, you're probably going to forget about in a few years. They're probably going to forget about you too. So me personally, I would rather live my life joyful, happy, thriving than in fear of what others think. I also did a video on that recently, sort of, about self-expression. It is here, and that was a really good video. I was able to get out a lot. I was able to reflect a lot. If you don't have a journaling practice, I think that that could be cool to start. It helps build self-awareness, helps you reflect on your day, things that you've done. I really think that everybody should have one. I am getting to the end of this sketch. In real time, it took me around 20 minutes total. I try to sketch every day. I'm definitely not perfect with it, but when I do remember it, I like to sketch every day. These are a lot more stylized than what I would usually go for, like I was saying earlier, but I really don't mind. And it is building, you know, sort of a style for me. You can see that these three have very slightly different stylistic choices. Um, bottom left is a little bit more realistic, more harsh. The top one is more soft and flowy. And then the one right under that I try to do kind of quickly because a lot of people say your true art style comes out when you're forced to draw in a time limit. So I tried to complete that one as quickly as possible to see what features sort of come up, things like that. And here I am just adding some of the final little details, you know, this is probably not something I'm ever going to look at again, but it is just a little sketch. I was just practicing and that is totally okay. Not everything has to be a masterpiece. Sometimes it's okay just to do something to develop your skills. I'm going to be doing that a lot throughout college, so definitely something that I have to get used to. I will probably be buying a sketchbook soon. I haven't had one in a couple years. I just kind of would like paint full on pieces whenever I felt the urge to create art. And now I've rediscovered that sketching is actually really valuable. And this is your sign to start sketching again if you stopped. Or even if you never even did it. It's never too late to start something new. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was a little more chatty and a little less organized than the other sketch with me's that I've done so far, but I really hope that you got something out of it. Maybe you'll go home and sketch. Maybe you'll go home and ramble to yourself as I just did to you for 15 minutes. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful life, and you keep on creating. Bye.